Do you want to see something pretty crazy? Whoa, my fingers look so gross. That's partially because of this new lens. We're usually at 28, uh, but now we're at 17. But that has nothing to do with today's video. Today's video is actually about creating a sci-fi scene from scratch inside of Cinema 4D and Octane, and I'm super excited for this. Uh, we're gonna be going over everything, get, getting your character, rigging your character, texturing your character, um, then setting up the scene inside of Octane. It's gonna be really exciting, and I'm super excited, if you can't tell. Real quick, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe, leave a comment, like, do any of those, all those, whatever. And um, project file will be below, but this time, it's not gonna be uh, it's not gonna include the character because we're gonna be buying the character unless you already have a character bought then you don't need to use this one um, so that'd be unfair to creator so no character but still project file with this scene five dollars for seven days free you know how it goes okay let's get into it So our first asset is actually the character and we're gonna be getting this from CG Trader. I'll leave a link below to it. Super high quality model. Um, I really love it. This guy did an awesome job. It's actually not rigged or textured for Cinema 40 and Octane, but that's okay because we'll be uh, doing that ourselves and I'll show you exactly how to do it. But seriously, uh, if you need an astronaut model, uh, definitely start with this one and rigging and texturing, don't worry. That sounds scary, but it's actually pretty easy. And the second thing is you're going to want to have some kind of ground asset uh, or ground scratch. Uh, I'm using this one right here. Uh, just look up floor scratches or floor texture and uh, it's pretty much all you need. Okay, so we're going to be starting everything in Mixamo. So what is Mixamo? It's basically just letting you rig your character to any animation that you want. Uh, so I'll take our spaceman that we downloaded and you're gonna wanna upload a 3D OBJ. So just go upload character and just drag it in right there. Okay, perfect. So now we've uploaded our character to Mixmo. We're just gonna punch next right here and we're gonna position our chin, which is right there. This is kind of amazing because it's able to al algorithmically determine just from these points how this character should move and it does a pretty good job as you'll see after it's done processing. Perfect, so now that makes most finished processing, we have our character rigged and animated already and uh, it looks pretty awesome. This is uh, some pretty cool results. You can zoom around and see, make sure everything looks right, but it looks good to me, so we're just gonna punch next. So the specific animation we're gonna be doing is gonna be under jump. So we're just gonna try to find an animation, a jumping one, it'll give us some cool poses and some different stuff to work with. So let's just search jump right here. And if you click on them, it will load it to your character. And after doing some searching, I think that uh, this is the one that we're gonna do. I like some of the poses and we'll just, you can also change all of these parameters right here. That looks pretty cool. Okay, so now that we've finished finding our animation, we're just gonna punch in download and keep all of these how it is. I'm gonna change to 24 frames a second and click right there. Perfect. So once Mixmo's finished downloading, we're gonna import this into Cinema 4D. Perfect, so now that we're inside Cinema 4D, you're just gonna to go to File, Merge Objects and find the uh, animation that you downloaded earlier. And when you're importing, just make sure you have these import settings right here. Perfect, so now we have our character right here. And if you punch play, he's doing his little animation. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change our timeline to 24 frames a second and max frame 60 because that's how long the animation lasts okay great so now we're going to be setting up our scene first thing you're going to do is just create a plane like this and that's about good then you're going to open up octane which i already have mine open right here and create shader c40 octane octane material and then we're going to drag this first one onto helmet now, 
this process is going to be applied to all textures. So if you know this first texture, you'll know all the, how to texture the rest. So under Octane, here we're going to go to Material Type and click Metallic. And that will make sense later on. Let's just fire up Octane because you'll see what we're working with. Perfect. So we have our character right here. We'll just position the camera like so. And uh, then we're going to go to Node Editor. So along with the 3D object that you got, you should have downloaded some textures as well. Uh, at least there's an option to. So if you haven't, go ahead and download those textures because we're going to be using them. So let's go. And uh, once we've opened up Octane, we have our metal right here. We're going to drag in a couple of these image textures. And then find that folder that had all your textures in it because we're going to be using that. So we're starting off with the helmet. First thing we're going to do is just connect our diffuse. Okay, so perfect. So you're just going to take your textures right here and plug them in like this. And this is the order that you're going to do it. So our first texture is just going to be the helmet base color and that's going to go into diffuse. Our second texture is going to be the helmet AO. That's going to go into specular. And then this black and white one, the helmet metallic PNG is going to go into specular map. Then our roughness is going to actually just be a roughness map. Our normal is gonna be our normal map and our displacement is gonna be or the height map right here. And uh, just plug them in like this. I'll make it bigger so you can see it easier. And you're gonna set your displacement around 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, somewhere in there should be good. Um, so once you have this like this, you see the order that everything is and what corresponds with each other. You should be able to just copy all the other materials, the body, the gloves, in the strips and create their own materials from there and connect them to the corresponding parts. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'm not gonna make y'all sit through that process. Uh, after this, we'll have a fully textured and animated astronaut. So we're back and we've applied our texture to our astronaut in appropriate places. It's pretty easy because it's all labeled and uh, I just grouped my astronaut together so that he's all one piece or she whatever it is. Um, okay, so you might be asking the visor texture. Uh, at least for me, I didn't have a visor's texture. Maybe the new downloads do or something. Well, it's gonna be pretty easy. We're just gonna create a uh, new octane material. And then once you create it, you're gonna change the type to specular and then go into node editor. And then you're gonna plug in this image texture, which will be in the project file below. It's the ground texture. And I actually use it for multiple things in this scene. So it's a pretty versatile texture and I really like it. And that just goes on the visor. And you wanna just kinda of get a side view. And then we'll go here. And just kind of adjust your, right here, adjust your power to kind of suit how see-through you want your visor. I don't really want it see-through because there's no head inside there, so I made it pretty hard to see. It's pretty foggy and it gives a nice om ominous look. So now we're right here. So we'll create our camera first and uh, we'll start our composition. We'll just snap to our camera. We're gonna wanna look probably like this with them running towards the camera and we can just change our output. I'm gonna do it for y'all. I'm gonna do vertical output, so we'll just do, um, we'll make a width of 13, we'll make a width of 1080 and a height of 1350. This is uh, vertical for Instagram, but if you're not doing Instagram, it's fine. Uh, just make it however you want. Uh, I'm just doing this so y'all can see the scene better on the side. Perfect. Okay, so, Apply that texture to your visor, your astronaut's finished now. We're gonna create a new material, a new shader, C40 octane, octane material. And we're just gonna drop that onto the plane. And then we're gonna go to node editor, and guess what? We're gonna grab an image texture and a transform slide, connect that image texture into diffuse, and then we're gonna grab the ground texture. Perfect. So the reason we have this transform slide is to kind of scale this. Somewhere out there, it looks pretty good. And I'm gonna actually switch this to glossy material. And now we're gonna create, and we don't really wanna start working with material until we have our lightings. We're gonna create an HDR environment. 
and then a light octane targeted area light. We're gonna set the target right here. Uh, we'll just set the target to the visor. So click right here on your target, grab the visor right there. Okay, so it's really big, but that's okay. We'll just move our light up. And uh, this little trick that you can do, just go to camera, perspective, display, ground shading, and you can move around your scene without having to disrupt it. Okay, so the target's really not working that well, so we'll just take it off. Because of our characters moving and stuff, I think it's confusing it. We're gonna make this light smaller. And then we're gonna drag the power down because that's way too much, just enough right there. So we'll rename this to ground because we're gonna mess with that in a little bit, but first we're gonna create a cylinder. And then just go right here under cylinder, go to object and change the radius to 0.2. And we'll do 0.4. Maybe 0 0.6, 0 0.6 looks good. Uh, just crank the height up a lot and you'll know why we'll do that later. Uh, now we're gonna grab a cloner and then drag the cylinder under the cloner, take the cloner, change the cloner type to grid array and then we're gonna bump all of these to zero or one because that's all it'll let you do and then take this one up. That's a little too much. Let's do six. Then change the size up a lot. And then we're gonna move this back. The reason we're moving this back is these are gonna be pretty intense because we're gonna create a new shader, C40 octane, octane material. And we're gonna drag that on to the cylinder. Go ahead, click your node editor. Actually, we don't even need to go to node editor because we can just go straight to emission and click black body emission. And uh, you need to drag your material, sorry, you need to drag your material not onto your cylinder, but onto your cloner. This looks great, but it looks a little weird because our ground is uh, not completely smooth and that's, that's fine. We're just gonna take this image texture, Control Z, Control V, take the transform, drag it down right there, and then get our displacement, plug our displacement, our texture into our displacement, our displacement to our displacement. Change this to 8K and change this to maybe Point one. Looking pretty good. And another thing is our roughness needs to go up a little bit more. And let's take these. So maybe that displacement was a little bit too much. I'm not sure if we can get any smaller. We'll change this to point Oh, one. That looks a lot better. Really liking the look now. Let's just make sure everything's set right. Okay, perfect. Let's go back to roughness and dial that back some. That looks pretty cool right there. So now our back wall, we're just gonna go over here and we're gonna create a landscape transform the landscape and rotate it. And this part's gonna take a lot of setting up your composition and knowing what to make it look like. So this will be, it's probably the hardest part. That's funny that we rigged and animated the character and the hardest part is just uh, the composition now. It's funny how that works. Okay, so let's do rotate. Uh, let's transform this up a bunch. Move it back. Transform it up a bunch again. And then we're gonna take this and just increase the height of it. And then we're gonna have to transform it up even more because I kind of pushed it in. Okay, so now we're gonna create, we're, we'll just take our ground texture and just copy it and just drag it on the landscape. Perfect, okay. It looks a little funky, that's okay. We're gonna take our node editor and just slide that displacement. We probably actually don't even want displacement on there. It's pretty trivial when it's that far away. We'll just take our transform 
slide it up. Something like that. We can try different textures. Metallic looks pretty cool. And I'm actually gonna stick with the metallic look, I think. Oh wait, but before we decide on that, and that can be personal choice, you can try specular metallic, just test it out some. Uh, but before we do that, we'll take our cloner and just copy it and transform it, pull it back. That gives us a really cool look. So last thing, go to post processing, enable bloom power. Plume is always a nice little, that looks, that looks epic right there. Bloom always adds a nice uh, compositional aspect to everything. Uh, we'll just change this to portrait, slide it back, slide it around if you want. Man, we'll change that back wall right there. We'll change that back to, let's do glossy. Glossy was looking a lot better. And we're just gonna slide the landscape back. Oh, it's already far back. Well, that's okay. We're gonna take one of our cloners, copy them again, and slide them back. And I'll just do some, I'll do something different than the thumbnail because uh, why not? Uh, this will prove a point that you can take some animations and create a lot of stills out of them. And tell a totally different story if we transform this. Awesome. Okay, so we have our scene set up. And obviously you can do it more like the thumbnail if you want, but this is the basics. And this is kind of show you that it's not that hard to do these kind of things in Octane. As always, project files will be below. However, I will not be including the astronaut inside the project file because that would be unfair to the creator uh, who is selling it and they deserve to do it. Um, so it's great. So project files below minus the astronaut if you just want this scene right here and the textures will be below first seven days for free as always. And after that, um, it'll be like $5. However, I am thinking about starting a Patreon. I know that's so stupid, but I mean, I think there's a good community around all of this, so maybe Patreon would be necessary and we could kind of have a community built up, a Discord server and whatnot. Because um, this is a relatively new field of people. I think a lot of people are growing and uh, learning about it. And I just started off, so, and I'm already able to do this because of tutorials. So imagine what like four or five more uh, good tutorials like this could do. So, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, Please remember, like, subscribe, share, do all that great stuff. If you want to support the channel, check out the project files below. And maybe I'll start a Patreon eventually. But for now, keep watching and always create.